Mobility means many things in a modern army. It means the new main battle tank, the M60, which mounts a 105 millimeter gun for the first round kill and boasts a 335 mile cruising range with 32 miles per hour road speed. Mobility means the radically improved armored personnel carrier, the M113, which meets the requirements for rapid movement in all kinds of weather and terrain and protection from shell fragments and small arms fire. Mobility means cross-country, off-road supply vehicles, such as the Goer which can travel on difficult terrain with inherent ability to float. Mobility means the amphibious larks carrying troops and weapons with a water speed of 10 miles per hour and a land speed of 30 miles per hour. The largest amphibious vessel in the Army is the Bark, a barge with wheels over eight feet in diameter. With cargo capacity up to 100 tons, it can ferry outsize and heavy equipment between offshore carriers and unprepared landing areas. Awkward pieces of construction machinery can roll off the Bark and immediately go to work to build a harbor if necessary. Two hundred men, complete with their combat gear, can be transported by the bark on land or sea. Aside from those new and strange carriers, each of the many thousands of conventional vehicles contributes its share of mobility. Mobility also means Army aviation. Some 5,000 aircraft serve Army aviation today. The number will be increased substantially according to foreseeable requirements. The Army helicopters may be represented by the utility and tactical transport Iroquois, designed for use in the forward battle area to move troops, supplies, and the wounded. and the twin-engine Chinook, with rear ramp to handle missiles and other lengthy cargo. The Army's sturdy fixed-wing transport, the Caribou, can carry a three-ton load or 32 men. It has the remarkable ability of short takeoffs and landings on unprepared airfields. The 235 mile per hour Mohawk performs combat surveillance with its photographic and sensory devices capable of observing the enemy even in total darkness. And of course, mobility means airdrop. Carried by the Air Force planes, men and materiel can reach a critical area vertically, immediately ready to fight upon landing. 